Hello and welcome. We're gonna do a let's play of Stardew Valley. Most likely. Um, it might turn into something else. Not sure yet. Um, I haven't played Stardew Valley in a very long time. I just started playing again last night. Uh, it is currently March 24th, 2020. And I just realized how much I've missed this game and love this game. Now, I have not played since before patch 1.4, I believe it is. And me and my buddy that are playing are only in spring right now. So, for right now, it's going to be pretty much the same old, same old, I believe. Uh, we are going to do some things. I won't give you any spoilers right now, but we're going to have some fun. Uh, the menu does have some hidden stuff, but we're not going to go over that right now. So, let's start a new game. Uh, my name is Fueritar. Uh, this will be Fuer's Farm. And my favorite thing are hamburgers. Uh, we would like a dog, not a cat, because I'm a dog person. And we will grab that one. We're not going to skip the intro. Um, there are different farms, and they all have their own perks. We won't do the four corners farm because we're not playing with um, multiplayer on this one. I do like the forest farm a lot because uh, there's a lot of forgeables. The hilltop farm is fun for the mining, but I like to go on the mines myself, so we're not going to grab that one. This one has um, monsters at night, which is nice, um, but once again, not too big in that. I love fishing, so the riverland farm would be nice. And this is your standard farm where you can just build pretty much everything. You don't have to worry. Um, since we're doing a standard let's play, we're going to go with the standard farm. Now we're going to randomize our character until we kind of like what he looks like. Yeah, kind of like that. Yeah, I'll go with that. Alright, let's get started. And for my very special grandson. I want you to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Note the backgrounds for the different things. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now, let Grandpa rest. Twenty years later. The sealed envelope. Dear Furatar, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed a deed to that place, my pride and joy, Foyer's Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley, on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all. And now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Luz is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya?
Hello, you must be Fuertar. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Flair's farm. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. A little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Listen to her, Fuertar. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Hmm. Anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good luck. And that's where we're going to stop this episode. This will just be the introductory episode to the uh, game. So thank you for watching. We'll see you next time when we continue on Stardew Valley. Hello and welcome to Stardew Valley Let's Play, sort of, kind of, maybe not, I'm not sure. So, we just received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started, Mayor Lewis. So, typical WASD to move around. Uh, we're going to change some settings real quick. Uh, I like to always show the tool hits. I like to hide the tool hits when I'm moving, or when I'm... I take off the hide anyways. We're just going to lower this volume because it's gets a little overbearing yeah so we don't like to hide the tool hit location when we're moving I like to see it all the time um, I do use a controller sometimes but I probably won't for the playthrough uh, show advanced crafting information the graphics we're gonna leave all the same although I should change I might change this when I'm not recording um, I think that's everything I care about for the time being yes it is all right so we have our backpack our inventory these are grayed out because we cannot access the bottom two rows yet. We have an inventory of what we can wear. Um, we have axe, hoe, watering can, pickaxe, scythe, and with the 15 parts of seeds as a gift. Our skills, we have farming, mining, foraging, fishing, and combat. They are all currently zero. The more you do a skill, the more it's going to level up, and you'll get different perks and bonuses along the way. Uh, social, we've met two people. All these other people we have not met yet. So it's going to take some time. We'll meet them all. We have a map of Stardew Valley. Uh, the crafting tab, these are all our known recipes currently. Uh, and it tells you what you need for them. And it shows you on the right there how many are in our inventory. Currently, we don't have any anything in our inventory at all. Collections are things that we, can, that we sell. Nothing is filled out right now, obviously. Uh, our options tab, and then we can exit the game if we want to, which we're not going to. All right, so we have a TV here. Um, you can check the weather report, the fortune teller living off the land. Um, the only thing I personally use the TV for is to, uh, for the recipes. Um, we can always see the weather for the next day so you know what's going to happen. Genuinely, it doesn't really affect me too much. Um, we're going to alter things a little bit on our layout. Alright. We're going to do a little bit of clearing, not a whole lot. We're just going to plant our seeds and water them get them going. We're also going to harvest some trees. Alright, so we need 15 spots for our parsnips.
All right, now we gotta water. Actually, I'm not sure if you have to water the seeds, but I always do anyways. There are some games where you can plant seeds without watering them. I do not recall if this is one of them, so we're not gonna play with it. All right, so our basic stuff is done for the day. Um, we're gonna go meet some people. Oh, yeah, our journal, if you press F, shows you our quests that we currently have. Oops, sorry. So we gotta greet 28 people. Um, yeah, we're actually going to harvest some trees real quick. Takes 10 chops with a regular, or might take a little bit more. Well, let's actually get this. Okay, yep, that's what I thought. Uh, 10 chops with the regular axe to chop down a tree, uh, and then it would take an additional 5 for the stump. Now, the reason why I'm not doing the stump right now is because each stump costs 10 energy to effectively get rid of, and we want to keep our energy for chopping down the trees because the stumps do not grant foraging experience. And right now we want to try and at least get enough to get to a level 2 foraging um, by chopping down the trees. And we need 50 wood anyways. So after this tree we'll have our 50 wood. Alright, we're gonna create a craft a chest. We're just gonna dump everything in here right now. Because we're gonna go exploring. We'll actually keep the axe. Gotta go talk to people, meet people. Uh, we might come across some worms along the way. I gotta chop that down actually. Because I do not want to keep running into that. Uh, up here, there's usually some forgeable items. Here's some dandelions, or daffodils, my bad. Another daffodil hiding there. Oh, there's one over here. This is, um, you know, I'm not going to get spoiler, so I'll just not say what it is. <laughs> okay, here is the doctor's office. If you ever get knocked unconscious, you will wake up in the doctor's office, and Mr. Harvey right here will be the one to, um, charge you for his services. He is a potential spouse. Here's our bulletin board that tells us whose birthdays are when. It's very useful. This is Pierre's shop. This is um, where you can buy seeds and trees and things like that. This is Gus. He is the uh, owner of the saloon. This is Marnie. She's the owner of the ranch. This is Pierre. He sells the seeds. Should probably like actually talk through the dialogue but um you know uh, like i said he has some trees that he can sell uh, he has a catalog uh, which gives you access to all the wallpapers and whatnot that you can find regularly i guess oh that's new grass starter recipe interesting so much different seeds um we do want seeds so we're gonna be buying all of the potato seeds this is Abigail. She is a potential spouse. Coming through, Abigail. Uh, you cannot go into people's rooms until you are friends with them. And Caroline is not in the kitchen. My dog is sitting on my desk watching my game intently. You can uh, right click the garbage cans to try and forge inside of them. Sometimes they have things. Uh, this is Alex. He is a potential uh, spouse as well. You can marry men or women. Doesn't matter in the game. George is an old, ir irritated old man. Evelyn likes to be called Granny. There's Sam. Let's go see Sam. Sam is probably off to work. Which is at the Jojo Mart. So let's go over there real quick.
So that's just a cashier where you can buy things. Um, it is cheaper than Pierre's, but I don't know. I never buy from Jojo Mart. I'm not a fan. This is Shane. He's busy working. Um, I think that counts as meeting him. It does. Now this is Morris. He's the uh, s technically quote unquote bad guy because Joja is um, considered evil because they kind of like uh, they're bad for the land essentially. Uh, good old Pam. Gonna go visit the blacksmith. This is the blacksmith shop right here. You can upgrade your tools here. You can process geodes. Now you can buy ore. I almost never buy ore because you can find a ton. Copper trash can. That's interesting. This is new. Huh. That's really interesting. So, yep, Clint is our local blacksmith. Uh, this is the um, archaeology office. We're not going to go in there yet because I don't want to get that event going yet. I always wait till I have my first artifact. When you dig or go exploring or bust open geodes, you have a chance to find a an artifact. And if you hand in them in, you'll get rewards. Nobody hanging around the center of town. Oh, let's go to the beach real quick, see if Elliot's there. Ooh, bunch of forgeables on the beach. Usually the beach is a good place for the little worms. Ooh, man, this is a really good find today. Well, he's not outside, unfortunately, so can't meet him today. He might be at Pierre's at this point, but that's Elliot's house there. Uh, the the fisherman's house is down there as well, on the dock. We're gonna go see if Jody is home, or Haley as well, or Emily. There's Emily. Haley does not appear to be home, or at least not where we can access her. Okay. Jody's not home. Vincent's not here. We already met Sam. I don't believe Marnie's is open today, so there's no point in going there. Um, we'll go here anyways. This is Leah's house down below me now. Uh, this is Marnie's ranch where she sells cows, chickens, ducks, a whole bunch of different animals. Uh, we're just gonna see if Leah's outside real quick. Oh, nope, but there's Haley. She's too involved with the camera to notice me. That's the story of my life. But she counts as meeting. We're just missing a few people. Pretty good run so far on that. Oh, the kids actually might be in the archaeology office with Penny. Because Penny is their teacher. We're going to run to Pierre's real quick. Oh, there's Jody. There's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Yeah, that's, that's great, Vincent. Caroline! Caroline, there's Leah, and at any time you can press F or click the exclamation point to see how far along you are. So we really need to meet eight more people. We've already met Alex. We need to meet Penny. Penny might be in her trailer. Penny lives with her mom Pam in there. She's not there. I don't know where Vincent, Penny, or Jazz are. We're missing Maru. Demetrius. Oh, there's Penny and there's Maru. So this one on the right is Penny. One on the left is Maru. Both of them are bachelorettes. Um, I can't remember if I said, but Alex is a bachelor. 
Um, Leah's a bachelorette. Sam is a bachelor. Shane is a bachelor. So, we're gonna head up to the next area. And hopefully, Demetrius is outside. We won't be able to hit Sebastian today, I don't believe. And then we'll go back and we'll do some more farming and call it a night. I'm not sure if I'm going to upload the videos as the full week or day by day experience. Um, not sure on that one yet. So Demetrius and Robin live here in this house to my left. Robin is the carpenter, as you know. This is Linus. He's uh, a homeless person who lives in this tent here. You can go in his tent at any time. Uh, I really like Linus. He's pretty, he's pretty cool. Likes to live with nature. <clears throat> oh, okay, so these little worms here. What they do is you hit them and they, and they give you items. And that's a leak. That's perfect. That is exactly what we wanted. So we got clay from the worms. Um, I hate to do this, but I'm going to have to. I was not thinking when I left without my pickaxe or my scythe. But that's okay. All right, we got a little bit more uh, harvesting to do. Check our skill real quick. Yes, we got 40 to 1. So I'm going to keep. We'll plant the 10 potatoes. Potatoes have a chance to yield extra unless they change that. I'm not sure. Uh, we want to keep all four of those. We want to keep one of those and one of those. We'll keep the clay. Keep that. Keep that, obviously. We're going to sell this stuff. We don't need any of that. I mean, we could have saved the uh, daffodils because Haley likes daffodils. But I'm not too worried about her affection, honestly. Um, at least not right now. And by the time we try to become friends with her, it, we won't be hurting for money or anything like that. So we won't need a daffodil. Put that back in, just because I want the order back to the way it was. Let me get rid of that for now. 19. Okay. Tomorrow that'll have one more hit to be done, and we're going to go to bed. Level up, level one foraging, plus one to X proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe, wild seeds for spring. Uh, new crafting recipe, field snack. Okay. Made a little bit of money from selling the fishing stuff and the foraging stuff. 220 gold, not too shabby for just picking stuff off, picking stuff up off the ground. 